got another organic reactions flow chart for you to try so we're up to number 13 now there it is there so if you want to have a go at that pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers okay so to start with i'm going to go sort of in a clockwise direction and do this shorter route so phenyl ethanone with nabh4 aqueous well that's a reducing agent so it's going to reduce this ketone phenyl ethanone to a secondary alcohol so we're going to get that and then you can see to get from the secondary alcohol to compound d which is an alkene it's got an alkene group in it we need to remove h2o so we need to dehydrate it or eliminate h2o and we do that by reacting it with a strong acid so either of those two would do there Okay, so the longer route now, so going to the left of phenyl ethanone, we're told it's reacted with a mixture of sodium cyanide and acid. That effectively is going to create hydrogen cyanide, which then reacts with the phenyl ethanone. And so it's going to make a hydroxynitrile, which is going to look like that. So if we go to this conversion here, so this hydroxynitrile to this bromonitrile, well, we, we're basically just substituting the OH group for a BR, and we do that by reacting it with a mixture of sodium bromide and sulfuric acid. And the mark scheme would allow H plus there instead of H2SO4. Okay, so run along the bottom. If you look at this molecule here and the final molecule, compound E, there's two changes we've got to make. Now, you can do these in any order. So if you do it in a different order to me, that's fine. But effectively, we've got to substitute this bromine for an amine group, an NH2 group. And we've also got to hydrolyze this nitrile group, or break that CN bond, and create a COH group, carboxylic acid group. So the way I've done it is I've gone for the um, substitution of the bromine for the NH2 group first. So you would do that by reacting it with a mixture of ammonia and ethanol. It's really important that you get both of those in there. And that would therefore generate this compound. And then to convert the nitrile or hydrolyze the nitrile into the carboxylic acid, you need to react it with an aqueous acid. Now the one I always say to my students, it's in their notes, is aqueous hydrochloric acid. You could say aqueous H+. In fact, you could use any aqueous acid, but this is the one that I would tell my students to use. 